Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, and yeah, really, really interesting looking puzzle today. Um, but we have wow, so much going on around the channel. Oh, actually, first disclosure today is that I have set a timer which is now at 29 minutes and 38 seconds. And um, that is to do with dinner with my family. So if this is one of the harder puzzles that I deal with on the channel, um, it will get interrupted towards the end. I can't help that. And if, uh, if, for instance, I have very few things done, that'll be very annoying and I'll have to come back and virtually rethink from scratch. So that's the sort of time pressure I probably need to practice against uh, as we approach the World Sudoku Championship in October. Um, but we are getting very close. I think we're over 498,000 subscribers now. So we're getting very close to 500,000. And to celebrate the approach of that, we're trying to say thank you in a couple of ways. We're going to release a free app on all the three platforms when we get there. And you'll be able to get that if you've got our the free app that we've created lately, which has a few sample puzzles on it. You will be getting some puzzles from some of the great constructors. Uh, a real range of difficulties from as easy as a gas as there is to Fistemafel level. Let's let's put it like that. And there's a real range. They're really interesting. Um, we're also offering our, our book, our Cracking the Cryptic Greatest Hits book at a discount for a period. And, uh, and the coupon code is 500 subs. You can find all of these and where you can go to use that in the links under the video. Um, where you can also find the Domino Sudoku app. And indeed, that shows you how to get to the free app that you will need. Um, so lots of stuff going on. Um, on Patreon today, we have closed the competition for the uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles, the GASP, and show, we've put up the solution video as well. So you can see how we tackle those puzzles if you are a $3 Patreon, $3 a month Patreon. Thank you very much to anybody who is, or to all the thousands of people who entered. Um, it really was many, many entries. And uh, we're thrilled with that. And also the links under the video will take you to our merchandise and Discord and the catalog, Sudoku Pad, all, all the previous apps as well. Now, this puzzle is of a type that doesn't appear in any of those apps. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Happy birthday to Alex Vallejo from Fiona. Um, yeah, she says that you're a very keen watcher of the channel and would be delighted, she hopes, with a shout out. So we're happy to give that to you. The 20th of August also turns out to be the 30th birthday of uh, Ryan Murphy. So... Um, very many happy returns to you. And Callum as well, who's almost 30, he's 28 today, from his sister Amy. Uh, and they they all had requested shout outs. So we're delighted to do that. We hope you all enjoy a wonderful birthday with lots of Sudoku and even more cake. And uh, that's the way to celebrate a birthday. So mainly watching the channel. But anyway, those are the birthday shout outs. This is the puzzle. This has come from Marusha Dark. Now, Marusha has been commenting on the videos in my certain knowledge for well over two years. One of the very longest term um, viewers and might almost be the longest debut before or the longest period before becoming a debut constructor, because this is definitely their first puzzle on the channel. Um, and it's a very nice idea here. I think I think they've only sent in a couple, so pretty good hit rate. Um, this is based on the Chinese characters for the the five elements within the Chinese system. If if I'm to believe the email, earth, air, fire, water, and wood. Rather to my surprise, it sounds more like a settlers of Catan thing than an actual element. But there we go. That, that's what I'm led to believe um, the Chinese elements are and these to be the characters. Now, I don't speak or read any form of Chinese, so I am going to take Marusha's word for it. I'd be fascinated if anybody can confirm what these characters mean. But it's brilliant that such a limited set of characters has been used 
with a set of rules that uh, Marusha has devised here. So the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and that's one to nine in every row, column, and box. Digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are given, so they could be one and two on this one, for instance. Um, adjacent digits along a colored line must differ by at least the amount given in the cell of the same color. For instance, in box five, adjacent digits on a line, like those two, must differ by at least three based on this given gray cell three. So along this line, any two digits along touching each other on the line must differ by four. On this one by at least two, which isn't very many. On this one by four and on this one by six. So it's like a sort of multinational whispers rule. But uh, yeah, that's fascinating. And, and Marusha has clearly positioned the givens near the... Uh, near the shapes. I mean, that's really interesting, really clever as a rule set to use the characters to come up with that idea and to have this kind of minimalist feel to the grid. I, I don't know how hard it's going to be as a puzzle. I mean, it's very, very hard to guess with this one for me. But do have a look at the video length if you want to gauge it. Do give the puzzle a try either way. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, how long have I got on the timer? Only 23 minutes now. I must have been waffling for ages. Anyway, right. Um, the six is the biggest. That's bigger than even a German whispers for difference of five. So you clearly do go high, low, high, low on this one. Those three are all one away from there, so they must be the same. Yeah, you can't have four, five, or six on these lines, just as you can't have five on a German whispers line, which is a difference of five or more. If you used a six, well, let's forget, well, a six could be here. If you used a six on the line, the only digits six away from that are zero or less or 12 or more. And yeah, they're not Sudoku digits. So you can't use six, five or four on the line. Actually, that means four has got to be here in this box since it can't be on this red line and we've got that given four. Um, so that's a start. Then we're gonna get a four somewhere here. Anyway, let's go back to this. They must be, like, you can't use five or six. So all the digits on the line Sorry, I'm trying to write five there. It must be from one, two, three, seven, eight, or nine. Now, these three are all the same polarity. They're all either high or low. Oh, and they all see this. So this must be an extreme digit. So if that's seven, eight, nine, one of them is a seven, and that means this has to be one. If this is one, two, three, which is the other alternative, one of them's a three, and this has to be nine. So this is either one or nine here. This is the same polarity as that, but but it's not 1 or 9. Um, and maybe, well, I mean, these digits must keep, come from 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9 as a population as well for exactly the same reasons. I don't know that I'm getting any further with that, which is quite annoying. Because six is clearly the most helpful one. I mean, I'm looking at two as a as a whispers difference, and it's useless. It just means it just means that digits along this can't be consecutive. Is all it means. This digit, by the way, is a one or a three because of the white dot next to the two. Um, okay, so there's a four here, either connecting to a three or a five. So those are the possible populations for that digit. What about this then? The trouble is, five can be on a, a Dutch whisper line, a four line, because it could be surrounded, it could be touching either one or nine. Um, ah, okay, but well, does polarity still work? No, I don't think it does. I don't know that I can make much progress on this one. That's really annoying. Polarity works on one of these four lines, except in as much as it can get switched by something going one, five, nine. Ah, oh, I suppose this cell is in the middle of a plus sign. It's connecting with four other 
digits. It has to be one, two, eight, or nine. If this was three, say, a more interior number than one, two, eight, or nine, then the only digits three can touch on this line are seven, uh, seven, eight, and nine, which don't fill all four cells. So the same's true here, one, two, eight, or nine, because this is a four line as well. Um, but I mean, there isn't a digit that can't be on this line. Oh, look, four has to be on a line somewhere because that four that we placed is ruling out those two cells. So one of these is a four and must be, well, must be touching eight or nine on the line. That's not that helpful. Oh, or is it? No, it's not. I was thinking if you had four and eight or nine in this row, this would have to be one, two, three, but that's... Ah, uh, no, actually that is interesting. If you had four here or here, this would be eight or nine. Now this couldn't be seven, eight, nine. It would have to be one, two, three. And what would you put the... Oh, you could have five, nine, four. Okay, sorry. Scrub that. How is that? What about the three? Ah. Okay, this, this has got another central digit, but the, now it can be, it can't be four or six actually, can it? If it was a, f oh yes it could, if it was a four here, you could have one, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Bother. What about this middle digit then? Let's just think a bit more about that. If it was... Oh, it's touch... No, no, no. This middle digit is touching six digits, not four of them. It's only missing one of them, so it couldn't be seven because then it wouldn't be allowed to touch eight or six and they can't both go in this cell. It's got to be a digit in the middle that would, oh, if it was an extreme digit, if it was one, yeah, if it was one, it wouldn't be allowed to touch two or three, so two would be there, so that's possible. But if it was two, it wouldn't be allowed to touch four or one, and they'd both have to be here. And that's not possible, even forgetting the fact that that's a four. If this was six, no, that's, that's yeah, if this was six. Oh no, if it was, it's even worse than that. If this was six, it couldn't touch five, four, seven or eight, and they'd all have to be here. This must be a one, mustn't it? There's no other way. If this was a nine, these wouldn't be allowed to be eight or seven. Yeah, this is a one in the middle, and that's a two. The one, the one digit apart from three, it's not allowed to touch. Right, so these can't have a two on, and they can't have a three on, and they can't both be one, but they must have the same polarity. That's it. So they're high. They're seven, eight, or nine. This is low. This is one. And it is this six. Interesting. It is the six box where you begin. But to kick you off in the six box, weirdly, it's not the four boxes. It's the three box that starts this off. That's really interesting. Right. Now, these are high. They are seven, eight, nine. That can't be eight or nine anymore. That's low. Polarity doesn't work fully on a four line, but never mind. Um, this is not seven or eight because we've got a triple. In fact, these are from two, three, five. That's low. Right, these must have an eight on. They can't be a seven, nine pair. So there's no eight there. This can't be one anymore. Now, can it be two? Or can we rule that out somehow? If this was two, these would be six, seven, eight, and nine. And the corners would be one, three, five. That does work. Um, if it was eight, I don't think it can be eight actually because of that four. If it was eight, these would have to be one, two, three, four to be four away. So actually that is two or nine. If it's nine, 
these four vertices are one, two, three, five. And if it's two, they are six, seven, eight, nine. But those are the possibilities, two or nine there. I mean, I've kind of finished with this whisper line. Now I've put a one there and you can't have two or three on it. It's almost over and done with, which is incredibly, well, it's nice, but it's incredibly annoying in a way. Now, come on, let's, have I gained any other information? Because I'm sort of gaining information surreptitiously. Right, yes, four cannot be in these cells because that's one or two. So four is definitely in one of these two, and therefore nine has to be, no, eight or nine is in the middle. Um, yeah. One can't be there. I suppose it could be there in the middle, or it could be in one of those cells. Um, right, this is a consecutive pair that can't be using seven, eight, or nine. It can't be using one, because that would break that. That's not helpful. Oh, gosh. Make a few steps forward, and then you're at a complete crossroads again. Right, think about this. If this was nine, these would be one, two, three, five. Then we'd have six, seven, and eight in these cells. And that's impossible. That's lovely. It's impossible in column three for these to be from six, seven, and eight. Because we've got a six here, they would be seven and eight. And how are you going to fill those? You can't put nine in them both. So that's not a nine, that's a two, which was not what I was expecting. These are six, seven, eight, nine as a quad. These others are one, three, and five. Now we've got five in one of those two cells, so this can't be a five. That's one or three. Um, this one can't be six by Sudoku. There's a two in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Oh, two there has made this a three at the top. This is now a four, five pair. So the other one in this, the final one in the sequence going around here is a three or a six. Let's get rid of the corner mark. Um, this is from six, seven, eight or nine as well. Now we've got a triple in this column, even though we only placed one of them here. So these are from, they definitely include a two, don't they? Yes, this is a two five pair. I've only just noticed that. So there's a two here and something from one and three, because we can't have a five because there's a five pair there. Uh, that can't be one. Right, come on. So, one is in one of these two cells. And one of those two cells. That's interesting. So this can't be two or three. Or four, obviously. Or one. This is quite high. At least five, six, seven, eight, or nine. That's much higher. I can't use low and high on a two-digit two number now. Ah, this pair, though, must use an even digit, this consecutive pair. And that can't be two or four. So it's six or eight. So these are quite high digits. I'm working on three quite high ones in the column now. That's not really going to get me anywhere, is it? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, wow, this is a real thinker. Um, I 
My goodness, how do you keep making progress in this puzzle? I don't understand it at all. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo where to be looking next. Um... Three. Three in this column? It can't actually be here, I've just worked out, because this can't be four or two, because if, well, if that's a three, this can't be two, because that would break this cell. Oh, so this is now not one, two, three, or four either. This is also high, so we've now suddenly got four quite high digits in this column. I can't believe we'll suddenly get a fifth out of this, though. Because this line is so uninformative. Um, that's also... could this be... it can't be... it can't be less than five now. Um, so if that was a 6-5 pair, these would be quite high and include an 8. But then you just need to put 4 in one of those places. There's no problem with that. Oh, goodness gracious me. What on earth do you do here? These can't be a 4-5 pair either because that would break that cell. So again, they're in this reasonably high range of 5 to 9. But... I don't think I'm learning anything from this. How do we do this? There's definitely seven, eight, nine in this. Ah, oh, okay. Where are seven, eight, nine in this box? They're clearly not here. They can't be here or here because of the rule. Hmm. So one of them's there, and two of them are in this group of cells. That's not really what I needed to learn. Oh, goodness. Okay, two. Two in this box. Can't be in any of those cells, just by Sudoku. So two is in one of those two places. And therefore not here, which is a one or a three, making a one, three, five triple, and making that two. And that, and that path peters out instantly. Um, four, two, five. Can that be? Yes, it can be seven, eight, nine, or it can be one, three, four, six, or five. No, it can't be five. It can be any of the others. Um, come on. Find something we can do. We've got a one or a three there. Is that of any use at all? No, because it'd be... Well, if that was a three, we would have a three here. This would be a two, three pair. That would be a one. I don't think that would do anything useful. Bother. Six minutes left till I have to take a break. I should not have started this now. That is life, though. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to get through this in time, but let's keep thinking about this. Uh, there's got to be something on these, on these lines that I'm just not considering. That can still be a five, because that could be a nine. That's the only way it can be a five. Otherwise, that's a five. Six in this box can only be in one of those two cells. It doesn't feel very interesting, but it's true. Oh, come on. What's going on? Okay, maybe that can't be a six. 
It can't be a six, because this can't be one and two. If that, oh, hang on. So it can't be a six if it was a seven. These would have to be from one, two, three, and they can't be. If it was an eight, they'd be from one, two, three, four. Wow, so if it was a nine, these would be one and five. And if it's a five, these would be one and nine. How have I not seen that coming? That's so weird. So this is five or nine. Now, if it's a five, that's a one, definitely. Then we can do polarity on this line. They all become high. They become low. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's no problem. Ah, oh, these are definitely low. Well, they're as low as five. So they're one, two, four, or five, given that that's eight or nine. So two of the high digits, seven, eight, and nine, are in this group. And that's not really telling me anything. I thought this was going to give me something. Now, if this was five, there'd be one and nine, and that would be one. What would that do? Or if this was nine, there'd be one and five. If these were one and nine, that would be six, seven, eight. This would be a nine. They'd both be nine. One of those two would be nine. Ah, it doesn't quite do anything, I think. Now, come on, come on, three. Three's in one of these cells. Oh, four. Four is in one of those two. And can't touch five on the blue line. That can't be important. Oh, okay, it's important in that I can tell where four now goes at the top of the grid. It goes here. Gets me a number that I haven't had for ages. Um, that still remains eight or nine. Doesn't change that. Four's in one of those two cells. Ah, oh, it's in one of these three now. And is it on the dot? Is there a way it's not on the dot? Or is there a way it's not not on the dot? That it is that it's forced on the dot because it can't be here. If that was four, these would have to be five and six. That would have to be a three, two pair, and that would be one. Which it would need to be to have five and six here. Then you'd have nine, eight, two, and a three, seven pair down here. That's close to not being possible. So if this is four, this is a two, three pair. In fact, this goes two, three, four, if that's four. But if it's not four, one of these is four and is either a four, three pair or four, five in some order. Bother. Can't leave that there. Those, those are limited at least to those possibilities. Oh. There's no six or seven in this group of cells. Or three. So three must appear on this line somewhere. Ah, can it be here? Maybe there's a reason it can't. That would be interesting. If three was here, this would be two. That would be one. Three would be here. can't see a reason that can't be three, but it would be nice to force it into one of these two cells because that would give me that one, and that one, and that one. 
Oh, so I just need to get three out of this cell, and I'm doing something interesting then. Oh, there we go. Bother. I shall be back soon. Right, I've had a bit of curry now. <laughs> Let's see how we get on with the rest of the puzzle. Ah, oh, lordy. Um, okay, so we had this two. That's not a lot of use. The two five pair. Seven, eight, nine, triple. One, two, three, four, five. S oh. Okay, well, this is... Is this obvious that these have to be high? Yes, they're higher than one and two by four, and they can't be seven, eight, nine. That's a five, six pair. Okay, good. Curry helps. Did you know that? Curry helps to solve Sudoku. So we get a one there, because one of these is a five. And this is a two, three, four triple. And three has to be on the white dot because they can't be two four they wouldn't be joined and therefore three is there and four is there and two is there i reckon i think that has to be right three yeah three has to be on the right dot right five one six that's a nine this has all got easier nine there no one there that's a uh, no nine there i mean that's a one five pair this is six seven eight nine that is the same digit as this, isn't it? Yeah, because it's a high digit. Oh no, it could be a six there. Okay, not so sure there. Uh, right, but we've got five X-wing. Five is either there and there or there and there. So the, the five in column eight is not in those boxes. So it's not there. It's in one of these three places and that's not a five. It's in one of those three places, and it's not touching four on a line. I don't think we can use that. Nine there has made this an eight. That stops this being five. This is, oh, well, as does a five, six. But in fact, it can't be one. It's a two. Oh, this is five. This is two. This is a three, seven pair. This is a five, six, eight triple, and this is a one, seven, nine triple. And unfortunately, I don't have any, any information about those rows. This now cannot be eight or nine. So it's six or seven. So this, which can't be five because we've got a one five pair. This is six, seven or eight. There is definitely a seven on this white dot. Uh, this can't be eight or nine. So this can't be nine on the dot. Right, hang on as well. Oh, we need a two in this column. That's good, that's there. Now I think, does this have to be where the three goes in the column to separate? No, yeah, I mean, blue is such a useless line. This could be a five, seven pair. So three is in one of these two cells. Oh, and therefore not here, which is a one. That makes this a five. That fixes the five X-wing. This can't be six anymore. Now this can't be five because that's seven or eight. So this is a three, five pair, definitely. And that's a six, seven pair. This is six or seven. I don't know if you can see that against the background. So there's definitely a seven on one of those two cells. So these are from four, six, eight, nine. And that one can't be a four. Oh, and this, ooh, this can't be a six actually because that would make this a seven and break the blue line rule. At least the blue line rule has done something there. Oh, look, the blue line rule does something beautiful here. This can't be a four because it would be next to either three or five. I've been very rude to the blue line. It's now told me where four is in the box. And then we get a four in one of those two. Um, what else? This now can't have a three on it. So three is in one of those two cells. Again, these are from five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, it's almost not worth marking that, but not quite. Four, six, five, one, two. These are from three, seven, eight, nine. Not seven, 
because 7 is on that white dot. 2, 4, 5, there's either a 4 or a 5 in one of those places. The, the grey line is useless. I mean, it's not doing anything for me, so I can almost, well, maybe when I get to that bit of it. Ah, there's a 6, 7, 8, 9 quad. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 5, and they're quite restricted. That can't be 2 or 3, that can't be, oops, that can't be 1 or 3, and that can't be 2. Oh, so that's a one three five triple, and this is where two is. Okay, I could probably have spotted that more simply another way, but that's the way I got there. That okay. So the grey line is totally useless because we cannot contravene it anymore. Just as long as we follow Sudoku, we can't. Right, um, three is in one of those cells. One two three. Um, one. I, mean, I know that's in one of those. Can I tell which way around this four or five pair is? Ooh, if that was a six, this would have to be seven and eight. That would be a three nine pair. That would be a six. So if this on the left was a six, these would all be sixes. That would be a six. That is a six and that one. That would become a six. Ah, oh, it still works. Bother. Okay. Um, one, two, three, no, four. Oh, there's a one, three, five triple. Um, so these are all from four, six, seven, eight, nine. And four is in one of these two. Now, is that interesting in some way? Hmm, don't know how. Might be. This is very tough to keep going in. Right, can that be... Five, six. Don't see why not. And there's nothing up here that I can do, is there? That's nine or seven. That could be seven with eight, nine there. I know this is a quadruple. Ah, oh, seven's on that white dot, so that's not a seven. I mean, that doesn't seem all that interesting. Um, seven's in those cells. What about these as a pair? Or these, maybe it is these. Now, I worked on whether that was a six, because I thought that was interesting, but it didn't actually yield anything. Seven is definitely in one of those two cells. And one of those two. Okay, let's look up the middle. Oh, look, there's a five, six, seven, eight, nine quintuple. So the only place for four, oh, look, I could have done that much more simply. Four there means four's in one of those two cells, which means it can't be here. So that's, a, oops, didn't mean to leave zero there. So that's a four in this bottom middle. Um, that doesn't really get anything else done, does it? One, four, five, two. Oh, nine must be used there because it can't be anywhere else in the column. So this can't be nine. And I suppose that's been obvious for a while. One of those two must be nine. Oh, goodness me, what next? Four and one of those, that's just not useful. 
it's an X-wing with four there, but they go, they've got to be finished off by something else. Um, this pair. Don't see what that's doing. Have I have I missed something on the on the lines? If that was eight, this would be six. That would be seven. That would be nine. But if that's nine, this still has a choice. It doesn't. That doesn't resolve. Three five as a pair. So five. Oh, that's interesting. Five mustn't be next to six, although six has to be in one of these two positions. Either five is there and six is there, or five is there and six is there. Hmm, okay, what about this pair? If these didn't involve a five, this would be a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple, and that would be from three or five. Maybe it's more important if they did involve a five. What does it do though? If we had a five, six pair here, that would be three. Six would be in one of those cells. That would put six here and in one of those and there. Ah, so this can't be, well, this can't be five, I've just learned, because you'd get a six here, six in one of those two cells, six there, six there, and six there, and that's two clashing sixes. So that's not a five. I don't think that's going to carry me very far in this puzzle. But if this was a five, this would be a five, six pair. Three there, five there. That would be one and three. Five, six. Ah, I mean, there may be some way this breaks, but it is not easy to see. Oh, here you go. This is brilliant. Okay, if this was an eight, that would put eight in box nine there, and both of them would have to be connected to seven on their white dots We're in the same column, so that's impossible. So that's not an eight. So that's now a six, seven pair, and that makes this a three over here. That is lovely. That is very clever, Marisha. Now, there's no five there. There has to be a five in one of these positions. Um, three, four, two, one, six, seven. That's not a three. These are from five, eight, nine. And there's only one place left for four in the box. It's here. Again, I have a feeling this is one of those breakthroughs that doesn't get me very far but let's just just keep plugging away right this can't be eight nine as a pair because both of those would be threes that's impossible so there's no nine there and there is a seven used here which was probably i could have maybe deduced the well that makes this not a seven that's six eight or nine um and is there something else like this we can do? Yeah, no, we can't. I can't say if that's a seven, that's a seven. In fact, if that's a seven, oh, that's interesting. If that's a seven, that's a seven. So that's not a seven. And if that's a seven, that's six and that's seven. So that's still not a seven. So that's never a seven, that's eight. And that does get things done. That gets the whole final column done. Uh, eight must touch seven on the line. Oh yes, this is getting things done. Six there, six in one of those. So six here, this is a seven, eight pair. This is a one, come on now, come on, don't stop. 
three five pair that's a one wow that's a six seven there this is an x i wing so that's a six ah six can't be next to five so that's a three we seem to have obeyed this line thoroughly everywhere good and it, it was much more helpful than i expected as you saw right there's no five on this now four five one three in the row goes there that's not a three it's a one five pair three goes there that's a five five on this green line has to be next to nine so we can't have nines in these cells that can't have a six either this is oh no it's gone wrong this is a seven eight pair and that makes this a six nine pair and that's impossible oh no 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 what did i do wrong let's go back to that seven deduction was there something wrong about that it seemed to really unlock things quickly if that's seven i said that's seven and this can't be seven if it's six that's seven And this is six. Oh, and then that is seven. Not that it can't be. Right. That was absolute bobbins. Oh, that's so depressing. Sorry. What an excursion that was for 15 minutes when I thought it was unwinding. Oh, no, for five minutes. And it wasn't. Um, ah, fish hooks. If that's a six that's a six and that is a seven but if that's a seven that's an eight okay that frankly it is more plausible that it's that way around but it's frustrating because oh hang on how's this become a three is that right yes that was from this that was because i got the four here that that stuff was all right wasn't it getting the four here Yes, it was, because I unwound the 4-5 here because of the 6-7 pair. Yeah, that was all right. Okay, good. Just want to check I'm not proceeding on a false basis. So we get to here. Now, that 3 is giving me a 1 in the corner. No 3 in the corner in this puzzle. So that's a 3-5 pair. This becomes a 1 here. That's not a 1. Um, okay. Now, does that get... Maybe that doesn't get anything else done. Oh, Mark. Got to be a 7 there. Nothing on this line is going to help anymore. Right, let's... What do we do next? This can't actually be 6. Because that would be too close to both 3 and 5. So 6 is now in one of these two and one of those two. Now, can this be five? If this was a five, six pair, you'd get three here and you'd get five here. You'd have five in those positions and a five there. It seems all right. Oh, good grief, come on. Oh, look, there's a 3-5. And I've probably known this for ages, that 3-5 pair. Now, if that was 3, that would be 3 and that would be 3. Okay. 
Okay, if this is 5, this has to go 3, 5, 7 by the rule. Then you get 3, 6 down here. Then that becomes a 5. Oh, I can't see this. What on earth do we do next? Nine eight there would make this seven six, and that would make this eight nine. Get a seven here. Seems to work. Oh no, that. There's a three there on a red line. Oh dear. Okay, that's a nine. Oh, it's so straightforward now. Probably. Let's see. Oh, I'm such a muppet. Right, those aren't nines. There's a nine in one of these two positions. Therefore, there's no nine here. Come on, come on, just keep thinking. That's not an 8, and that's not an 8. That's not a 7 anymore. We've got an 8, 9 pair. Um, come on. I'm sure, and that was so obvious it must be helpful. Right, an 8, 9 pair. Ooh. Two, four, one. If that was five now, what happens? We'd have five, six. Oh, tell you what, we can't have a five here if that's seven or eight and not nine. We have to have a three here. That gives us five, one, three. Three fixes the five, three. Five can't be next to six, so six is there next to seven on the dot. Um, that puts eight over here, nine here, eight here, box nine is finished. There's our six nine pair. So we can't have six here and therefore this is a seven eight pair and that's nine and that's six and I think we're suddenly going to finish now. Eight, six, look first three columns are done. That's a nine, this is a five, that's not a five. This is, that's going to give us five in row three. That seven has given us three and seven. Three in this box is fixed. Uh, that, the rule doesn't help with that one, but it does, well, no, those are eye wings, six and seven there. In fact, nine and eight, they're all done. Eight there. This is going to happen now. That eight gives us six, eight. That gives us nine. Six. Oh, goodness knows how long I was missing that red connection for. I think that's been from very early on. I could have had my curry after I'd finished the video. Wow. Well, I mean, 68 minutes it said, but that, that, included, that included curry time in the middle. Um, what a clever puzzle. What, what a brilliant setup and how interesting. Oh, that's very annoying, but there you go. Sometimes these things happen and uh, it's been a pleasure to bring you the puzzle anyway. Thank you to Marusha Dark. Thank you always for following the channel and hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.